don't want to do a crossover with me. But come on, Crit, I'm going to it like two times on a con, and this is the news you're going to give me. You're going to do it like that, are you? Are you? Well. <sighs> What's wrong for that? We don't want to do a crossover, but apparently not going to happen anytime soon. Q on, Troll. What is up, guys? It's me, KC, our new Kids Movie Kids shows. And guess what? We're still in Tom and Jerry month. And. Sorry guys, I don't feel into it. I'm just really upset because I've been doing this review series still for six years and I still haven't found anyone to do a crossover with me. I guess only time will let me. I just wish there was some way I could do a crossover for this crossover. Wait a second. I think this is one before. The last time I reviewed Tom and Jerry meets the Wizard of Oz movie. Hey, yeah, I did exactly that. Time for a repeat. Repeat. What is up, guys? It's me, Casey, of your Kids with the Kids shows, and welcome to another crossover Tom and Jerry film. This time, it's a sequel to a crossover Tom and Jerry Return to Oz. Or Back in Oz, whichever one to look at it, but either way, Tom and Jerry back in Oz. And special guest starring, everybody, once again, thank you all so much for coming back, including you, Critic. Oh, God, they make a sequel out of that one? Ugh. They said they made a sequel. Who ever asked for the sequel to be made? And, uh, it's just another sequel that did not need to be made. Ugh. Instead of trying to still, trying to ruin Tom and Jerry and the Wizard of Oz for all of us, I will not learn less the first time! Sound the Critic, they did not. Yes, folks, they actually made a sequel to Tom and Jerry and the Wizard of Oz. And so, that's pretty much as legitimate. And, well, yeah, let's summarize the movie, shall we, guys? This movie makes me angry! I'm gonna eat some tacos. So, yeah, they actually made a sequel that no one asked for. And not only that, that the animation is just as choppy as the first one. All rubbery and all that stuff. Oh, and well, I still sound like Jack Nicholson for some reason. I don't know how was that to do with anything, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, Tom and Jerry and Wizard of Oz should not do a crossover again. Well, I don't have a sequel. Well... Granted, this movie didn't rub me the wrong way that, like the first one did. At least Tom and Jerry got some character interactions with those of the characters of Wizard of Oz. And well, I have to say the jokes are somewhat more funnier than the first one, but still, it's not a very good crossover film. Doc, you're being way too nice. This comic sucks. I mean, look at a villain on the top. That's the most least threatening villain I ever saw in my life. I mean, that's supposed to be the Gnome King? Seriously? Yeah, that's what the character at the bottom. They're doing, I don't know what they're doing, they're just looking at the villain or just riding a rabbit in a carriage. Does that just take you off? Well, if you ask me, I'm more happy that this movie has nothing to do with the 1985 Return to Oz. I mean, it's bad enough they already butchered the first one. I don't want to see them butcher this one, too. Oh, and well... Well, that and this movie also was produced by Disney and not Warner Brothers, so I guess that's okay. Let's all be blessed they didn't ruin it. 
But still, there's no ruining Wizard of Oz for the rest of us. I am this close to reaching my hammer right now and busting this film. Okay, guys, guys, we haven't finished the review yet, so I need to tell me how to feel about the movie already, but it's good to know all that. Tell me how you big eyes feel. Pretty wish I have written that. But I get the meaning. Okay, let's talk about the story, shall we? So, this takes place after Tom, Jerry, Dorothy, and Toto came back from Oz. And, well, well then and the flying monkeys came to the world, and then, and when the flying monkey came to the world, went back to its world, and then, and then the lion, the scarecrow, and the tin man is at the world, too. How? A tunnel? Okay, so apparently now they're ripping off Alice in Wonderland. Thank you, what? Oh, I'm gonna kaboom their flags to the next one! Fireman, chill, chill! <sighs> what a hot head that guy has. So apparently Dorothy and her friends need to travel back into Oz and save the land from the evil Gnome King. And yes, this is what he looks like. He's just less evil as a Gnome King as he is... Compared to the Burger King's mascot. Though then again, that Burger King mascot is a little more creepier than that this guy. But hey, at least he's scarier. I mean, this guy's about as intimidating as a teddy bear. But hey, I'll also give the film this. They also downplayed Tuppy. And thank goodness for that. This game is as appealing as a rabbit roadkill. You go all dressed in poop and all that stuff. It is disgusting and yeah. Yeah, I don't like it at all. It's the bad proof for this little Mr. Nerd. Language. I'm more disappointed with the wasted opportunity. I mean, the Wizard of Oz world coming into our world? That's very interesting. I mean, come on. Uh, would it be great if the Tin Man, the Lion, and the Scarecrow interacted with their human counterparts? That's a waste of potential right there. Heck, I'm just wondering why the Flying Monkeys are suddenly working for the Gnome King right now. What, that no king decided to give him more paychecks than the uh, Wicked Wizard of the West ever did? Ah, your guess is as good as mine. Who cares? This movie sucks. The only musical note I actually find myself remembering and enjoying this film, well, the well, rest of them are, well, lousy and not forget my memorable, is the one where the jitterbug scene. And, and yes, it was supposed to be a scene in the original movie too, of the Wizard of Oz. But, it never made the cut, but it made a cut here, so. I guess something good came out of it. Anyway, that's all I got to say. I taught in shadows. Right, and they also put in the Mouse Queen, and she also had the hots for Jerry. There's that. Okay. And, well, the Lion and Tom also got their own little mini adventure, so there's also that. And, and well, nothing sporadic, but yeah. Huh. And kind of makes sense. I mean, I guess there was a mouse queen at one point in the original books. And there was a tiger in the original books, too. And, well, Tom and the lion and the tiger are cats, so... We all have to stick together, I guess? And that's pretty much it. But, for, for a lot of shenanigans, Tom and Jerry and all their friends managed to succeed in saving Oz and defeating Gnome King. Any thoughts from you guys? It still makes me angry! So, what the point? It's pointless. I think I'd much rather watch the original, thank you very much. I'm I'm with it there, Doc. I'd much rather watch Return of Oz, or Oz the Great and Powerful, but I'd rather not watch this insulting piece of garbage. The cop BOOM! This movie must be busted. Now, yeah, now, I'm playing World of Warcraft. It's much more entertaining than this. This comic sucks. It smells worse than donkey poop. I'm off to go cry some more again. Oh, I'm still Todd. In the shadows. Obviously. Eh, granted, it's not as bad as the first one, but it's still pretty bad, but I just don't recommend it. So Couldn't say any better myself, Critic. Anyway, that's all for today. See you all next time. And, hey.
I wonder what the last Tom and Jerry movie I'm going to take a look at is. Oh, forget this! I'm out of here! Hey, come back here! Oh, no. Farewell, friends. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and DeviantArt.